This IC HD3525 has an internal reference voltage which is 5.1 volts. What makes the output voltage to be able to stable no matter how you pull your load on it? It is the control of the duty cycle. Now, before going into this duty cycle, the, as I said, the pin 1 is the inverting input, pin 2 is no inverting input. Now, if the voltage in the inverting input is greater than the voltage in the no inverting input, the duty cycle decreases. When the voltage here at the no inverting input is greater than the voltage as inverting input, the data cycle may increase so now we have to create a sample voltage here since this IC has an internal reference voltage of 5 volts we have to connect now we connect that 5.1 volt to this now in that case our reference our not inverting input no inverting voltage input is equal to 5.1 volts so since the non inverting point is 5.1 volts this our feedback voltage here must not pass this so for instance, now if this voltage, this if the um, feedback voltage is greater than this 5 volts, the duty cycle will decrease. So, for instance, if the um, the feedback voltage is 6 volts, for example, the feedback voltage is, feedback voltage is 6 volts, voltage is equal to 6 volts. The duty cycle decrease. Duty cycle duty cycle decreases. Are you getting me? But if the feedback voltage is 4.5 volts, the duty cycle will what? duty cycle will increase will increase so what this uh what i'm saying here is that now for instance now you put a load here let me say you put a load of five volts so you put a load of your electric bulb Of 60 watts, and the voltage the voltage here is 220 volts. The voltage is 6 volts. So that simply means that there will be a decrease in this 220 volts. Whereby it will affect this feedback. When the feedback voltage drops below below 4.5 volts below 4 point so below this 5.1 volts then the deep cycle will decrease which will let the IC to pump more current into the base of the transistor to amplify more power for this transformer to what maintain these 220 volts it will do this process as fast as possible without you even knowing so that is how this um, feedback of a thing work. I hope, I hope you understand. If you don't understand, just uh, comment down below. Let's just maybe I can explain more to you. But I think now another thing is that if, if you look at this uh, this feedback of a thing, uh, you can see that with the um, 
changes changes of a voltage is being adjusted it will affect the the output voltage whereby you will be able to control the output voltage from about 110 130 volt to 310 volts because initially wait, because initially when you build this circuit in this inverter without the feedback connection you're going to be getting a voltage of about 310 volts AC okay so when you um when you change the voltage in the uh, 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 feedback voltage here by turning this resistor then kv our resistor it will let you to adjust the 310 volts all the way down to 130 volts so in that case you can adjust it till you get 220 volts so the 220 volts my voltage here might be 6 volts so since the the IC does not have the, the inverse input voltage is 6 volts and not inverting the 5.1 volt so it automatically adjust automatically adjust um, the D2 cycle as you put your load because your load is going to affect this feedback voltage which is going to affect the D2, D2 cycle to change in order to maintain this your stable voltage so I think I'm able to explain to you and if not you can just comment down below and let us chat so now at this output here as you can see we use two UF 400 with capacitor the reason why we use that is just to limit uh, the spikes let's limit the spikes voltage spike voltage in case of uh, in wash in, in case of sensitive electronics so thank you very much for watching this video um i will catch you guys in the next thank you peace